Welcome back guys, today we're gonna sculpt anatomy of the back. I'm gonna show you how all of these weird shaped muscles lay on top of each other to create one hell of a back. As always, let's begin! And the first thing we're gonna do is to just add this like, or make this super simple torso shape. You know, something like this, I would say. So, yes, remember this torso shape, something like this. Then we're just gonna add very very quickly a rib cage um, give me one second something like yeah something like that should work perfect and just adding this simple rib cage shape then we're gonna add really quickly like shoulders like this and the legs down here this gonna make sense very soon while why i'm creating this and the neck shape right here I understand it doesn't make sense right now, but we it will make so sense soon. And here we have this like, you know, pelvis shape that goes like this. Goes forward like this, this point here. Something like that. And we don't need to care about the rest of the shape because that's on the front. And I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel for the like male torso. So please check that out if you haven't already. So yeah, let's just continue with the muscle groups. Just gonna like smooth this out real quick. Then right here, then the first thing we're gonna do is to add the overall shape of the scapula. So from here, from the like shoulder, going backwards like this, and then just like this, adding this like L shape right here. Super important, guys. So really make sure that you add this shape because it's really gonna bring your sculpture like to a deeper understanding. You know. Then right here, we have like the trapezius muscle and all this kind of stuff. But the first muscles we're going to start to add is these two small muscles at the side. Something like this. Super small muscles, but something like that. And then we're going to add the trapezius muscles. Goes from top of the neck like this around here. So around like so. Something like that around. Because here we have the neck, so goes like this, and here we have the clavicle. This all goes like this around my shape. Re really, re really useful, you know. So adding the shape here, and then here this shape of the trapezius. Then right on top of here, we're gonna add this like connection because it's kind of like a star shape. Then down here. Somewhat like that. Yeah, something like this. Okay, and now we're just gonna add... You saw this simple muscle, like a star. Something like that, you see? Very, very... Not super simple, but understandable, you know? We're gonna bring this muscles backwards like this and bring the neck forward, because you can see here, this like huge difference. Then here, we're just going to add the scapula shape back. So, around here somewhere, I would say at least. Something like this. Just adding the shape back. Then on top of here, we have the deltoid. So, the shoulder muscle. Then we have this uh, like muscle that goes from underneath the armpit. Like, this V-shaped muscles goes from underneath the armpit and connects right back here. And extremely like simplified, you know. Extremely like simplified, somewhat like so. I would say these are like two shapes, because I think it's two muscles, you know. So we're just gonna make this like two shapes, as it's gonna look way more realistic. Something like that. And then here, down here, that's gonna make some room. Something like this, this room right here, and then here, we're actually gonna add this like triangular shaped muscle that goes something like this, triangular, a, like arrow shaped, something like that, it's going right top of here, somewhat like that guys, then here in between we have this like huge like line that goes in between the entire back, something like that. Then here, 
this makes totally no sense why I have this right now. But here we have the pelvis, right? And here we have the butt muscles that connects downwards towards the leg. This is like the connection point from the legs to the back. So this is super important to know. Here we have this muscle that goes like this and a muscle here, but that you can uh, learn more about my like leg anatomy video because I don't need to go into detail. But here you can see how this goes together. I will also have this like breaking point. That's gonna make this a little bit less. Because here we have this like a breaking point right here. And here this part here is going curved inwards like this. Here we're also gonna make this shape stick out a little bit and it's gonna be like this triangular shape inwards like this. And we're gonna add the V shape, so I guess gonna push these muscles outwards. I'm also gonna make him a little bit more wide shoulders. Now here you remember deltoid, the shoulder muscle goes on top, something more like that. So just gonna pull these muscles out right here, bring this inwards like a triangle and this part as well. It is like this nice shape. You can see. And remember that the muscles is the only part that's gonna change. We're not gonna change the rib cage because the skeleton ain't gonna like grow just because the muscles are growing, you know? So it's just gonna stay the same position like this. And then only the muscles that are going outwards like this. So never like drag the rib cage like this as well because it's gonna look super weird. Something like so, I would say. And then here, guys, we're just gonna delete this part, erase this part, just so you guys can see a little bit more clearly what I'm doing. Something like that. Just gonna smooth the entire back out. Something like that. Then use the trim dynamic. Use the trim dynamic to just indicate these planes a little bit more clearly so everybody can really see the clear shapes and how these planes are supposed to go underneath here making this very like this nice shape so not like this not like this but going like more smoothly around the overall shapes then here something like that and here something like that and here we have a bone so I'm usually just creating this shape from the beginning, smoothing it out, and then indicating the bone part like this. Just a little bit of this like thing that sticks out like that. And first of all, we just need to make this more neck shape, yeah. somewhat like that. Then something like this, we're just gonna really quickly like so you guys the shape of every single muscle or some of the muscles at least here and now guys we have these super simple shapes something like this and then here this muscle goes underneath the armpit so we can just indicate that it goes underneath something like that and then goes like this goes upwards usually tend to make it upwards like this Something like so, I would say. Yeah, so this is going upwards, these are going underneath. So it's really sure that I'm gonna make this separation right here. And these muscles go kind of like on top of each other, so I'm not gonna make them go like this. I'm gonna make them like those towards this part right here. You can see that looks pretty natural out, or naturally it looks like the muscles of the back. Just exaggerating every single muscle so you can see them real clear and see how they connect. Of course, there's a lot of fat and skin on top later. And something like this, making these shapes here. You probably can see. Then accelerating these, like, my shapes that blends nicely together, you know. All right.
right here. Hmm, something like that. I would say something like this. But all of these shapes right here, the trapezius muscle and these muscles are connecting to the scapula. So they have a connection point to the scapula. Don't forget about that. So if the scapula moves, they are also going to move. Here, in the skeleton point, a little bit smaller. And of course, we're gonna add this shape as well. The trapezius muscles goes upwards here, right? Because it's like huge neck uh, muscle. Something like this, I would say. Something else, so it goes upwards in this triangular shape. Something like that, and then really quickly, I'm gonna add this like scapula shape in here again, indicate it a little bit more. You see this shape right here? You don't gonna make it like this, but just indicate this shape where it's only bone. I'm gonna move it a little bit more downwards so it looks a little bit more natural. It actually goes with the flow of the shoulder, something like that. That looks nice, I would say. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, these are just very like basic shapes of the back muscles. It's not as complicated as you might think, it just takes a couple of minutes to do something like that. And if you want to do something real serious, then it's going to take a long time, but it's all worth it. Let me create this in there. And here you can see how I'm not, how I'm not, how I'm separating this from the rib cage. And then here, this connection point right here, we have these five small muscles that's are visible. We have a ton more, but these five that are visible. And then here, of course, like the chest muscles. And here we have the clavicle. Yeah, we have a ton of stuff. But I have a video on that, so if you want to check that out, please do that. And we can just see how this looks more like a bodybuilder. See, we can change the shape real quick of the general back. See. Yeah, so this was everything I wanted to show you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And please help the channel if you can. And otherwise, as always, I'll see you next time.